Hi, we're Team GNT and today we're here with Fight Perfect TV and today they're going to show you how to defend against kicks for MMA. Now this is more for obviously my style base because everyone kicks a little bit different so they're mainly going to go off my style and, and see what they can come up with. All right, a lot of you have probably seen me fight before. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of kicking. Uh, however, I do throw the odd calf kick but I had to learn to defend myself against kicks against a lot of opponents because obviously just because I don't kick doesn't mean my opponent doesn't kick. Uh, throughout training throughout the world as well, I've trained with all sorts, uh, all sorts of styles, some good, some not so good, and some good people and some not so good people, but each one of them had to give me a little bit of uh, insight to what they can do. And also, I picked up some knowledge on how to defend some techniques. So hopefully we're going to share a bit of knowledge today and block almost all of his kicks, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Aaron now a few of his favourite kicks, and I'm going to see if I can, well, we'll see if I can block them. At the end of the day, you never know, do you? But to start off with, we're going to break down nice and simple, nice and slow. You're going to shin one of your favourite kicks, so then have you just hit me randomly with one of your favourite kicks. Yeah, but I'd, I'd normally uh, adopt, because of the range style as well, yeah. because of the distance, I'd normally go for my side stance, and obviously yeah. if he's, as we get more close, then we start to square up, because obviously the hands become more available. So if I go here, we start off with a side kick, and generally, this, this move is more really to, to kind of um, get them fearful, so then you can set up other techniques. But if you've got a very efficient side kick, it can work on its own as well, especially if someone's more, more square, but you've got to involve less of a telegraph. So if I'm here now and I'm going to try a side kick, I go straight from oh. here, look, so it's quick and, and straight out. If you notice then, I'm just pushing into the back foot, and I'm just lifting and shifting, so there's no telegraph. Now, what a lot of people do, especially in, you see in fights or if they're trying to over-exaggerate a move, you'll see them take a little step. Now, if I take that step, especially for a trained fighter like, like Bradley, he's going to see that a mile off and he's going to move, he's going to adapt, he's going to change and, and then obviously I'm not going to land a kick and he's going to be prepared for a counter, okay? So with the distance that I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to not telegraph. I might throw, throw something at top or distract him up here and bang, it just comes straight out. I'll try and slide it in. For more range as well, you just have to have even more of a slide. Range is key for obviously kicking. If I end up going too close, then I get more jammed and his hands are more available to attack me back. So what do you think more kind of with a side kick? How would you go about defending that? All right, well, defending a side kick, I think is probably one of the hardest ones. In reality, I like to prevent, prevention's better than cure. Or I try and move out of the way. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm rubbing my head there in disbelief because he's quite quick. Right, and so from here, what I would personally do is, as soon as I see someone go some, uh, stand southpaw anyway, I always try and beat the outside foot. Like going just, off the line, just, yeah? Just straight away, just to make that much easier. As soon as he line, straightens the lines up for me. If he does kick me from there, what I don't want to do is this. Straighten my leg, because how do I know he's not going to go to a side kick straight to my, my knee? Yeah. Like, ooh, game over. Right, so when someone does do this, it's you blocking, I don't know a block for it. Genuinely don't. I keep my hands loose. So we you normally mean, adopt like a Philly yeah, shell position. Like a Philly we shell. Do, yeah. so if you go to throw a body kick to me now, I come here. I and I jump. Yeah, crap. Yeah, just the way. Here. here. I don't mind that. I don't cover that. Yeah, yeah, that's you can keep that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I can sort of count the Well, back. that's one of our tactics. We, you know, for more uh, light to semi contact, we try and kick the hips because if someone's got very good legs, it destroys their front leg and it's very difficult for them to kick. So it can become a tactic and you're late, obviously, hit on the belt. In this, obviously, Bradley is just a stone, so... <laughs> yeah. If he tries kicking high, just cover it up. I'm not a fan of being kicked at all. Yeah. Right, but that's... Now, once again, if you can also know if you can get when he's coming in. Like I said, it's really hard to read someone that's had that hides a kick really, really well. Right, that's like when you said there, you just get a lot of Taekwondo guys who come in, take that step. Well, if I adopted the bounce as well, what I try and do is, um, when I'm, if like we got a little kind of rocket motion, I yeah, time it with a back, back, back motion. Boom. Back so then I sprint off the, the back so you still got the, the kick. Yeah, and you've got to try and learn to read that as well before anything else. You've got to try and get his timing. I'm good at reading people's timing. Don't take me long at all. So I hardly ever get caught with side kicks. So yeah, I'm sure you do that very fast. Take take long. What you do. And I'll also I'll step as close as I can to that foot, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. But there again, I suppose you've got quite good flexibility. I suppose you can lift this up straight. Can you, can you stand in your normal stance? Yeah. Can you, can you side kick from there? Yeah. yeah. I just did back. So, Sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because you're quite flexible, but I always try and get as close as I can to minimise the sting. I find you feel well, The problem is as well, with me anyway, even if I am flexible, I still have to do a slight dip. So if you advanced on me, you're actually going to end up trying to jam my leg anyway, and I'll probably rebound off you too. And chase so down. So if he closes the distance, it's a very good way of defending 
the that's my main thing I do when I'm fighting a kicker. They try and be always here. So if I was fighting for real, but you just prefer side kicking that randomly. You throw a side kick here and there, and now I'm not going to get a bit, a bit closer. And that's when I get a bit closer. In here, keep walking. See, it's hard, harder and harder and harder. See how I'm picking the range up now? Yeah, yeah. It's a I can see you each, each time. Each time, each time. You obviously adjust and keep moving back to try and you keep my range. Your finger's going to be like a... But no. <laughs> and then obviously I wasn't kicking back or punching. Yeah, yeah, of course. But that's no, no, that was good. That, but that's how it works. So that's what I do. I try and read the time in. Obviously, I wouldn't just take a lot of kicks for no reason. I would actually be punching back, kicking after each time. I have seen guys catch for, um, side kicks. Yep, I, I find that very difficult. But I've seen guys first. Let's get through slow. Yeah. Play, yeah. I've seen guys catch it, pull it. Yeah. Pull go straight into punch. I myself, I don't like doing that. Case the guy, because you've got quite a quick boom, boom, go yeah. high and low. So you go boom, 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 and then you go high, bang. I'm not a huge fan of psychics, I'm afraid, guys, but that's all I do. Or I do start raising my knee, which you might, you might have Thai guys do that. Yep. If you start throwing loads of psychics, yeah, jam it. You see guys phone up or trying to catch you first yep. by teeping inside, right? Yeah, so if, so if you're throwing low, they're just trying to... Yeah, you take the leg, try and take the legs as well with the calf, the kick, calf I mean, kicks, yeah. yeah, if you can close the distance. I like fun, guys, from here. To me, this is southpaw, back to front. He's taking the power away out of my lead leg, right? So one thing I will do is the back here. See that? Here. So as he steps across, or um, to get close, I mean, so you step across to follow me. Oh, step across to follow yeah, me and the hips, keep the hips in line? Yeah, that's Boom, And then swing. you take it on the step, yeah. Yeah, it's not... So I put the weight on it as well. Yeah, so as, as you're there, so pull. Right, so yeah, there, yeah, there, there, yeah. there we go, boom. And I kick the back of that. You've seen happen to Michael Ben and Page. If it catches and you're off balance, yeah, yeah. you then down, you then have to get back up. And with me so for that, like I'm that. just trying to keep the distance. Like obviously you, yeah, you still get caught if he traps you in and gets you into that mindset the last step, you'll, you'll get you. But just my, try. my try and tactics for that would try to be keep the range as much as possible. And obviously it's very difficult to get someone's skill to be able to close the distance that well. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd be trying to do if I'm trying to mainly do kicks. I try and keep that distance as much as possible so we couldn't get the leg kicks. And obviously if the closer he gets, then the more I try and square up so I got my hands available uh, as well. As you see, obviously fighters like Wonderboy Thompson, Conor McGregor, more with a kind of a sport karate background and things like that, which is very similar style. Got real snappy sidekicks, all of them. Yeah, Especially yeah. Wonderboy, Wonderboy. Wonderboy's got beautiful snap, snap, snap. Snap. Yeah. And it keeps his... And um, Sage Northcutt. Yeah. That was really quick. He just comes kind of out. Bang. Dead straight. Like, mm -hmm. you didn't need, like, what's the fight? It's very... You the just alignment, yeah. straight up. Bang. With if someone's out of alignment and they favour away, it makes it easier for you as well. Because if I was kicking slightly this way with the ball on my foot, then he's, he's more prone to go this side. And if I went with the heel, He's more prone to go this side. You favour the side that I'm. Uh, you favour the opposite side that I'm favouring to close the distance, and then obviously mash me up with those big stone hands that he's got. <laughs> Whatever kicks that we can do. Whatever. What side? So your favourite kick in Taekwondo? Um, but okay, I'd, I'd work mainly from that principle of the side kick. So I try and get someone fearful of this. So like I whack it side kicks. Yeah. And that way, then uh, I, what I'm hoping is someone would like kind of the fold their guard in because they're scared of that side kick, just like you would scare someone with a jab. Yeah. Exactly the same with the side kick, and then what I would try and do is lift like a side kick, bang, and then I can go for the head, or I can go for a hook kick, or, or something on that side of things. Now, if obviously for more MMA style, I wouldn't want to be flicking a lot of these kicks, so it probably adapt and change. But obviously for point and semi sparring, that sort of would be perfect. But since we're trying to counteract it, let's keep it more for uh, light to semi. And I'm sure you could easily brush off some of those no, kicks going then. Um, you'd be surprised. I'm actually not like a friend myself, but I'm actually a fan of throwing um, head kicks in MMA because it's harder just to catch them. Like if you just throw, just throw a weak body shot yep. around us, you'll see guys catch and they go, and they hit and then just go, boom. Yep. And then it's an easy takedown. But if the guy throws a head shot, throw it, you can bowl the balance, balance it there. And it's like, oh, bang, and he rattles it across your face. It might not be the greatest face trying to catch it. So what you find is, if they throw a head kick, they cover up, yeah? It makes total sense to me. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. A lot of stuff goes wrong in this brain of mine. <laughs> so, so that's why from there. But if he throws a leg kick. Do you more for rear, yeah? Maybe you Leg kick, yeah. I can go either way, it doesn't matter. If you yeah. throw a leg kick, do it gently, it's gonna hurt you, there you are. <laughs> do it tough, it's gonna hurt, okay? Yeah, right now, if I turn my shin in, guys, it's gonna hurt. 
So, uh, not me, you. Okay. Yeah, no, I've done a bit of tie. Right, right, right. <laughs> and again, and again, here, that's how I check. Yeah, simple. You see some guys do, do this one really slowly. Get a kick. Yeah, the knee. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and again, you see guys just bang on that there, you just see the leg go. Yeah. Fold, and I saw some other cool guy in Thailand do the same thing. Bang, bang, bang. stamp nice. on the legs. Oh. So, your favourite setup then? I know we've got off track over there, getting a bit excited. Yeah, no, it's good. It's like you used to show you throw the thing. It's good, it turns into a nice conversation where you're yeah. just learning from each other. So, you're, you're throwing the thing straight away to hair, or you're hitting hair. You yeah, well, I just make you fearful, so I like try and blast yeah, you with that, and then boom! I try and the back change it. But I lift it, try and lift it similar to the psychic, so it makes you think that I'm still going to throw it. So, I'm still doing this. And you've got that nice big Yeah, and if I could see you favouring more, like if I could see your hand dropping more that side, then I've got the, the hook, hook as yeah. well. Hook kick. Or if I can see you like trying to draw back, I can even double up the kick. Yeah, boom. Like boom. a double pump or something, yeah. something like that, which you see again, Wonder Boy, he's phenomenal at it. He's you know? just so quick. Yeah. So strong. And then it comes out and it locks and it locks, even though that was towards your knee. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that was your one for. I'm gonna show him one of my kicks now. Why not? I'll show, I'll show him a bit of uh, my only kick I throw. How should I throw two kicks? Well, so yeah, am, I, am I trying to defend these now? Or are you no, just gonna no, explain no, how no, you would defend your one? I'm just gonna chuck in that. I, 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 <laughs> I just want to kick me. I feel like, I, I feel <laughs> like I've been left out. Yeah, yeah, that's I have good. to throw some kicks in. The, the only kick I ever throw, but it doesn't matter what stance you're in. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. He's over through the pack. Like you said, I always throw some, I always want to keep it from the Yeah, keep it top, get me thinking up here. Even if I faint, yeah, yeah. I'm coming later on, I'll always throw something here. But that, me think. that is just my easiest one. And I want them, you know, you turn your knee out, that's exactly why yeah. I do the little. See, we were showing earlier, guys, if you can zoom into this. When you kick a lot of guys, they turn the knees out, which makes total sense. Because if I kick with my shin, oh, it hits him with shin my shin. shin yeah. See how hard that was? Yeah. And now he does the same thing, and I whip round. Yeah, yeah, whip around all, all the way around, around and bits really of back bad, of the car. Yeah, yeah, and all feel of a sudden, it. it's like, oh, you yeah. might have That was yeah. nice. I know, mate, it's my cool sort of trick. I, know. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good because that's like my natural thought is go yeah, shin same. to shin. As soon as you kick, and then you looped around it, it's nice. Try it. If, if you go to kick my shin with your foot, yeah, you yeah. turn it out. Just oh, you want your whip around, whip around, yeah? Foot, yeah? Oh, it yeah. comes around and it hits this muscle here and it's so bad, but now I actually had to block it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Don't kick it hard now. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so to block it, you do the same thing. You turn all the way around. Now, the only reason I. I like, I like doing Probably this. got a nice right hand at the same time, maybe yeah, as well. Yeah, here, Bob, I'm worried that you're going to throw the right hand if you fake that. Ah, I'm, right, if I fake I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm worried you're going to fake that and then hit me yeah, with yeah. a Superman. That's what I'm worried about. But if you've been kicking the calf enough times, you're like, well, I've been hitting the face and too bad. <laughs> just sacrifice <laughs> another, mate. Honestly, it's the worst pain ever. It's the worst pain. Like, but I do another very similar kick. I'll get behind someone here. Yep. Yeah, and my like boot, the back of the calf. Oh, so I attack Jeez. the calf as much as possible, so that's another block. And also, against good kickers, then you've destroyed oh, their mate. calves, they wouldn't even want to lift their legs, exactly. they'd be all that maybe favoring the other it. foot. All that bouncing, this is gone, it's just more like, yeah. like a zombie, like <laughs> mummy foot. Sorry, mummy. I do a teep, you've got any good teep sets? Teep sets? Teep, uh, lead teep, rear yeah. teep. Watch, watch your little tricks. I always think the liver is the best. Yeah, liver. You can't man up the liver shot. I don't care who you are. I've been hitting the liver by some intense and wet, and it's been like, mm. well, solar. You know, if, if they're in a nice position, obviously, because they wouldn't know I was trained as well as solar plexus, so I would just yeah, go just, for it instantly. Like this, yeah, the solar this, plexus. This part here, where my hand is. Anywhere in there, yeah. I'll show you the camera. It depends, obviously, on the position. If they're more trained and they're turned, then you know not to. Where my hand is, that is the area I aim, I aim for. Just like scratching. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that is where I aim for. So, like, when I do my little front kick, I. Whip it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Straight in like that. Cause that's because I've got bad flexibility and I can't do anything else. Yeah, you use your hip, you engage your, your hips at the same time hip, so you yeah. use more muscle groups. So makes like sense. A, boom. Yeah. But I tell you what, it's actually deceivingly powerful. Yeah, I don't know. I can, I can tell yeah. already. And the block for that. I, Especially yeah. in an upward motion as well. Yeah, so oh, it's mate. Sink right it's, in. It's, it's when they're dipping. If you dip that way. If you, if you yeah, if they're throwing sand, anything as well. Uh, oh. and, and they dip that way. So, so I throw a jab. Yeah. And as you slip that way for the jab. Yep. That's when I start catching. Yep. I thought that was really good, and it mm -hmm. caught a lot of guys off guard. Actually, I was actually quite impressed with that. It's not very often I land decent kicks, but I started using that a lot. Or I started fainting here, like that, looking for trying to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. Boom, lean back with a kick. I like stuff like that. Taekwondo is making a bit of a comeback all of a sudden because you've got. Um, I think it's Pettis as well. A lot of guys yeah. are doing the kicks and that. 
And people it's the ranges. Pays. I think. I think if you want to be really good at something, you, you, you obviously try and cater for all the ranges. You've got your long distance, which would be more of your kickboxing, your taekwondo, your your karate. You get mid range and close range. You're talking. Obviously, you've got your tie boxing a little bit further, but then it comes in close, obviously with the elbows as well. Nice. Then you've got your boxing. Then you've got your wrestling and your grappling. And then it goes from upstairs to downstairs. So you want to try and get. If you're obviously gonna, if I was ever gonna fight in a, in a in a cage or do MMA, I try and be skilled, all rounded at all of those. Otherwise, you know, I, I don't do um, jujitsu or, or, or wrestling or anything like that. But if I was going to get into your side of things, that's what I would try and do definitely. I wouldn't just stay obviously with my background. Yeah. No, you've got to like a, a adapt, evolve and overcome. And you sort of, well, uh, of course, you, martial arts. you're adapting to what you're dealing with. Me. Like my competitions were more for like to semi-contact sparring, kicks above the belt. I don't have to worry about getting taken down. I don't have to worry about leg kicks. So then obviously I cater to that. Whereas obviously I'm doing MA, there's new different rules. Then I cater to those rules and I have to, you know, obviously respect all the other martial arts and use them to my advantage to help me uh, become the best fighter that I can be in that situation. That's the way I would look at it anyway. Thanks, Bradley. Some great information. Obviously, thank you for sharing your expert knowledge on my channel. Be sure to check out Fight Perfect TV. It's a great channel. I have a good laugh on there as well. There's some really funny jokes. Uh, if your kids maybe not, not, not go on there too, too much because of the swearing, but. More, more for the adult kind of content and the humor is great. Okay, so thanks, thanks uh, hey, for being John, here. I really much. appreciate sharing knowledge with you. Thank you. I'm gonna do some more in the future. Yeah, for sure.